Hi everyone, in this problem we have parametric equations that describe an ellipse and we're being asked to write them in rectangular form. So solution. So in order to convert these parametric equations to rectangular form, the trick is to solve each equation for the trig function. So in the first equation we'll start by solving for cosine. So we'll subtract h from both sides. So we have x minus h equals a times the cosine of theta. And then to finish solving for cosine, we'll just divide both sides by a. So divide by a, divide by a. So we end up with the cosine of theta is equal to x minus h, all divided by a. Over here we do the same thing. We subtract k from both sides, so minus k minus k. So we end up with y minus k equals b times the sine of theta. And as before, to finish solving for the sine function, we'll divide both sides by little b. So divide by b, divide by b. So we have the sine of theta is equal to y minus k over b. Okay, now that we've solved for sine and cosine, we use a familiar identity. So recall that cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. So let's write it out. So cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. And now all we have to do is replace each of these with what it actually is. So cosine squared will be x minus h over a quantity squared plus and then sine squared that'll be y minus k over b quantity squared and that's equal to 1. We can square each piece now so we'll have x minus h squared over a squared plus and then y minus k squared over b squared and that's equal to 1. And that would be the final answer. Right? This is the graph of, this is the equation rather, of an ellipse with center hk. So we've taken the parametric equations and converted them into our rectangular equation. That's all we had to do in this problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck and take care.